Okay, chapter six, making capital investment decisions. The, um, as I mentioned previously, you can't uh, overemphasize the importance of understanding the income statement. The problems in this chapter are going to require you to work with the income statement and determine the uh, relevant operating cash flows associated with different types of projects. So, so key concepts and skills. Understand how to determine relevant cash flows for various types of capital investments. Be able to compute depreciation for uh, tax purposes. Uh, everything in the homework is uh, is straight line uh, depreciation. The um, there the example in this chapter uses what's called MACRS or modif modified accelerated cost recovery system. It's a uh, it's a basically a system of percentages that are allowed by the IRS for accelerated depreciation. Uh, so understand the various uh, methods for computing operating cash flow. There are three different methods we'll talk about during this chapter. Then we'll talk about special cases of discounted cash flow analysis. And then we'll finally we'll talk about inflation and how it impacts capital budgeting. So for chapter outline incremental cash flows, the key to capital budgeting. Baldwin Company example, um, alternative de definitions of operating cash flow, special cases of discounted cash flow analysis, and inflation, capital budgeting. So incre incremental cash flows. Cash flows matter, not accounting earnings. So looking at a financial statement, we're looking at information that's, that is produced based on a set of rules. We need to modify that so it reflects the actual cash flows of the company. Uh, sunk costs do not matter. The, uh, this, uh, those of you who've been in the military uh, probably are, are familiar with sunk costs. Uh, the uh, many, it appears that many projects in the military uh, continue on even though maybe they should have been scrapped uh, a, a long time ago uh, the uh, more most recently the f-35 fighter uh, did it took way longer to produce and cost way more to produce and and so forth but it, there so, seems to be a reluctance on the part of the military to walk away from projects uh, other examples, uh, Bradley fighting vehicles, uh, the uh, the M1 Abrams tank. We they uh, started out life with a uh, with a jet engine. Which, uh, if you know anything about uh, jet engines, they work on airflow or with turbines, uh, and uh, they failed miserably the first time they were used in uh, in the Middle East. Uh, incremental cash flows matter. So, the, what are, you know? How to? And we're going to talk walk through how we determine what the incremental cash flows are. So, opportunity costs matter. So, could could we be doing something better? Or what 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 is the cost of of the of what we're of the plant that we're using to build this product? You know, what is the value? So, uh, the uh, we'll look at. Uh, We'll also um, consider working capital. Some um, some projects will uh, increase working capital, which is a, which is an outflow. Um, if they decrease cap in working cap working net working capital, that's an inflow. Um, side effects: uh, synergy and erosion. Synergy it means that a uh, uh, a product enhances the uh, um, the sales the sales of other products of the company. Uh, the, you know, the uh, possibly this is probably not a very good example. Possibly some sort of uh, uh, accessory for a vehicle. 
that uh, that might be manufactured that could actually increase sales. Uh, the um, along the same lines with auto, auto manufacturing, if you manufacture a vehicle and it, some of the sales come at the expense of the sales of other vehicles, that's called erosion. So uh, taxes matter. So what we're we're concerned with incremental after tax cash flows. Inflation matters. So if the uh, the costs are going up, then we we need to uh, we need to allow that uh, allow for that. The uh, so. Uh, Cash flows, not accounting income. So, okay. consider depreciation expense. You know, nobody's ever written a check for uh, depreciation. So, um, you know, much of the work of evaluating projects lies in in taking you know accounting numbers, generating cash flows. So, we're going to work through the financial statements, and you know, remember operating cash flow is equal to to uh, earnings before uh, interest and taxes uh, plus uh, plus depreciation uh, minus taxes so that's that's what we're talking about here uh, sunk costs aren't relevant so just because you've come so far doesn't mean that you should throw good money after bad if the product is not uh, you know if not it's not going to generate uh, value for the firm Opportunity costs do matter. The uh, you know, just because a project has a positive NPV doesn't mean that it should be automatically accepted. You know, especially if you have a project that with a higher net present value, uh, um, that would be you'd be passing up, then you shouldn't proceed. All right, we'll start with uh, um, side effects uh, in the next lecture.